So this is our product analysis. You can take and your mask off if you'd like. Oh. Yeah, I don't really want to take mine off. You can, you can, you can, it's fine. I don't really want to. <laughs> so we, our product analysis, we did the UDIN. Okay, so the function is to communicate with other people. Um, the operating procedure is that it uses radio frequency to connect to a base unit, connect to a landline phone connection, um, and cordless phones can make and receive calls from any location in home. Um, it's used everywhere in everyday life. The cost is $30 to $40. Um, its manufacturing origin was in 1966 in Tokyo, Japan. And the product life cycle is that um, raw materials are gathered, um, and then it's designed to fit co consumer preferences, components produced by different companies, and then assembled by phone manufacturers. Um, and then the phone goes through inspection, and then it's sold and used by a consumer, and then a consumer is responsible for disposal. So let's take our contents. And so we have the front speaker, and basically this is our sketch, and it's just a speaker connected to the phone, which allows audio so you can like hear calls or music, but probably not music. So these, so we did all these tests, and then basically this is what we got back out of it. And then there's a picture of our speaker. And then this is on shape, it's the multi-view. And then those are the eye properties, which if you look are pretty close with the properties here. They're just off by a little bit. So, and then the type of metal I use, which is aluminum, so which is why I think it's aluminum, because the, the properties are pretty close. What? Yeah, right. So the component two we did was the front body, which is basically you know just the cell phone. It holds the front body of the cell phone. And it holds everything together, and uh, it's small enough so you can hold it in your hand and make calls with it. Uh, and then these are the tests we did for this. And this is the multi-view, and then the on shape, and then this is the eye properties. Again, the eye properties were pretty similar to our actual tests. So I think it's why it's that type of plastic. And so this is the keypad. We also did. Um, the keypad is a silicone structure that fits underneath the body and it has numbers and symbols printed on it. Uh, the user presses on a specific button and it corresponds to the number that gets typed onto the screen. And it aids in making calls and dialing numbers. And so we also did like we performed tests on the keypad, and we discovered that the density was 10. And so we also we designed it on on shape, and we saw that the properties match kind of with like all the measurements we took in real life. So how did the buttons uh, put a number in the phone? Oh, like it's when you press to... down on it, what what did it press down on? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to. Um... Like press something probably on the circuit board to correspond to tell the phone like that it's pressing that certain number. Was there pieces of metal under there yeah. that the contacts was made or something, or did you look in the no, electricity I electric circuits of it? Or think there were um, little there there wasn't actually any numbers, but like corresponding like metal buttons or not right. buttons, but like pieces on the circuit board. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the manufacturing process starts off with the concept and prototyping. So you have to develop a concept and prototype it. Um, and then the plastic parts are assembled by using injection molding. After that, the internal electronics become assembled. So for example, the circuit board is assembled. It's passed through a series of machines that place electronic parts in appropriate places. Um, and a wave soldering machine is used to affix the electronic parts to the board. And then finally, there's assembly and packaging, where they're assembled both automatically and manually. Um, and the transmitter and receiver are put together by machines. And internal electronics are inserted and attached with screws. It's soldering, by the way. What? Soldering. Soldering? Soldering. It's called soldering. The L is silent. Really? Yeah, so you make electrical circuits out of solder. I have some in there if you want to see it. So it's just a little soldering gun and some like metal and you put it like this and you melt it and it makes, it attaches pieces of metal, metal together. 
It's called soldering. And we also performed recyclability like tests on it, and we discovered that the speaker was recyclable, but the front body and the keypad were. Okay. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay.